Swimming pool solar collectors do not require insulation. 99% of the heat losses from pool heaters is lost from the evaporation off the pool surface. So collector heat losses are minimal. Pool heaters are good at transferring low temperature differential heat to a large body of water in sunny conditions. But they're impractical at transferring high temperature differential heat to a low volume of water. Evacuated tube solar collectors also do not require additional insulation since the vacuum in the tube is the insulation. Vacuum tubes may achieve stagnation temperatures in excess of 600 degrees Fahrenheit and they can collect a small volume of heat at a very high temperature. Unfortunately, the surface area for heat collection at the top of the heat transfer tube is so small that the rate of heat transfer is limited. For this reason, evacuated tubes are best suited for high temperature, low volume heat storage. Flat plate collectors are designed to operate in the mid-range of temperature differential heat collection. They do require backing insulation since the collector temperature is often much hotter than the ambient temperature, but the heat loss through the glazing material is always greater than the heat loss through the insulation backing. As a matter of fact, some old flat plate collector designs still use fiberglass insulation since it's inexpensive and fireproof. However, compressed fiberglass is not a good insulator. Foil-faced polyisocyanurate insulation is now the most popular insulating material used in flat plate collector designs because it can handle temperatures in excess of 300 degrees Fahrenheit and because it retains insulating properties when under the pressure of flow tubes and absorber plates. This piece of polyisocyanurate is two inches thick and has an R factor of 14.4. Since ten times more heat is lost through the glazing than through the insulation, actually a one inch piece of isocyanurate is all that's necessary. An additional benefit of polyisocyanurate insulation is its rigidity. It may be used as a backing material inside an MTD collector because the trickle-down mat that carries the water weighs less than one pound when dry and less than five pounds when saturated with water. Uh, it's not only an insulating material but this is going to be the back of our collector uh, and it's best to install it so that you have foil side up so you're reflecting more heat back into the uh, collector. Okay, so uh, this is uh, 25 inches wide and it's 48 inches long. So if we measured everything correctly, it should fit right in here nicely. Uh, sometimes it's better to make this uh, a little uh, shorter. It doesn't, it doesn't have to fit that tight. But you can see that one of the problems that we're going to have with these, um, see we're using sheet metal screws and uh, they're going to be protruding uh, so that will uh, we'll have to push that down on our insulation. So uh, that's why, it, that's another reason why it's good to use uh, pop rivets rather than sheet metal screws. But uh, it doesn't matter that much for our purposes. We're going to be reusing this. So we'll slide this insulation over the top of the sheet metal screws like this. You see how it's sticking up like this and then we'll just push it down. I'm walking, here's the thing and I'm talking. But you and me, I'm hoping that you come back to me.
Here's the deal I'm talking about you and me.